I'd like to show you a few things with arrays in MathCAD. I'm going to start with putting arrays on the front uh, panel. Uh, an array is basically uh, a list of um, all the same kind of thing in MathCAD. I'll show you what I mean by that. So it starts off with, um, well let's start off with, let's just throw a numeric control on here. Just a regular numeric control. And it pops up over here. Uh, as usual, thick outline means it's a control. The little um, black arrow on the right means it's a control. Double orange, double precision, floating point number. We know all this. Now if we had a lot of these numbers, we needed a list of these numbers, we could put them in an array. And to do an array, call up the controls palette, and go to array and matrix uh, and cluster palette, and get the array container, and drop it on here. And you see it has a, a terminal that pops up on the diagram as well. And at the moment it's black, and it means it's empty, it hasn't been defined. So it's really a container that doesn't contain anything yet. The way that you make it an array of numbers is take a number and drag a number into it. So if I do this, I'm going to take this number, drag it into the array box. Um, sometimes if what you're dragging in is really big, for instance, if I make this number kind of big, it looks like it won't fit in the box. What you got to do is get it in there and get your cursor inside the box. And you see how the box gets this sort of active looking frame on it. And drop it there. And look what happened. The um, numeric disappeared from the diagram, and now there's only one thing, one object, and it's an array. The numeric is inside it now. So what I have here is an array of numbers, a list of numbers, and I can resize it and show how much of it there is. It's a little tricky. If I go and get my editing um, tool close to the array, I can resize it, and it does it in... Um, you can show as many elements of the array as you want. One thing that's a little tricky, you got to be a little careful that what you grab to resize is actually the handle of the array, not the thing inside the array. For instance, if I clicked here, this is resizing what's inside the array. So this is an array of numbers, and I can get my tool, my operating tool, and put some numbers in here. I can use the in increments, or I can just type a number. And I now have uh, an array of numbers. L notice over here that there's just one thing. It's uh, there's only one object, one terminal on the diagram, and it um, it's a little a bold outline, meaning it's a control. But you see the little square brackets around DBL. The square brackets indicate an array, so it's an array of numbers. If I take the number out, uh, again now I just have the number that shows up. Um, on the panel and on the diagram. If I didn't want an array of numbers, if instead I wanted an array of strings, I could have that too. Go and get a string control and put that into the array. Now the array is pink because it's an array of strings. You see the little square brackets. You really only just see the left one. The right one's kind of hard to see. And it's an array of strings. Again, one thing to be careful of, especially with strings in there, you see, what I've grabbed for the resizing handles is of the array. If I'm not careful, I end up resizing the string that's inside the array, and it changes all of them, because all of them have to be the same. And I could put in, oh, some names here. And now I have an array of names, uh, a list of four names. I'll get rid of this numeric. And then you can do things with an array. Um, one of them is you can see how big it is. So if we click on the block diagram and look at the array palette, one of the basic ones is there's an array size. And if I wire it up and create an indicator, it's a function that tells you the size of the array. So when I run this, I should see a four here because there's four objects in this array. And if I add another name and run it again, it's got five. If you'd like to empty the array, um, well, you might think that what you could do is just delete these things. 
pressing the backspace or delete key. Run it again, and it's still five. This isn't an empty array. It's a, an array of strings that contains five, well, basically empty strings. But there's, basically it's a string of nothing, but it's not the same as no string at all. If I want to completely empty it, i got to click on uh, this guy here. This is the index display. I'll show you this in a minute. And you can choose under data operations to empty the array. And then it's all grayed out. If I undo this a little bit, put these names back. Let's say I just want to get rid of this one name. You can choose data operations, delete element, and isambard is gone. I'm not sure if you can insert. Yeah, you can insert a new element as well. And put something else in there. So uh, an array is a list, but it doesn't have to be just a, a one-dimensional list. You could have it so that it's uh, got rows and columns, kind of like an Excel spreadsheet. And the way to do that is you go and grab this index display and resize it. And now what we have is a two-dimensional array. So I'll maximize this panel. And I can have uh, names here. I'll just throw some messy text, just, just some random junk in here. And now I have um, a two-dimensional array. I've got names in rows and in columns, kind of like a spreadsheet. You can even get a little weird with it and add another element or another um, dimension to it. Um, this third one is kind of like changing pages. So you kind of have rows and columns and oh, I don't know what's next. Pages, I guess, sort of a third dimension. The way that these index displays work is like this. They, they basically tell you what's going to be in the very first element here. What's its sort of address within the array, its location within the array. So this third one, the last of these controls the um, column. And this is rows. And I guess this would be pages if you wanted to call it that. Anyway, we very often don't need uh, all of these extra dimensions. It can get stranger from there. You can resize this and you can have as many dimensions as you want. Um, these arrays can be very, very big and they don't have an awful lot of application. Generally, uh, a one or a two dimensional array is all that's required.